Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 3. All right, the previous episode. In previous episode we met uh two two new characters. Uh one uh was I think Ren. His yeah, his name was Ren. Um uh, that person he also had a uh, like he was also a shaman and he had a soul with him uh, his name was Payson and uh, he kind of like had a different ideal of how to like you know treat the souls with them he thought that you know souls should be treated as tools because of the like you know if they're treated as friends or a different person there'll be like a problem when you fuse your soul like they'll make different decisions so it will be a problem and it will like lower your output like power output so in a way that is kind of correct but the way um you know uh yo kind of did it like you know like made it as if like him and amida maru they were so like you know so kind of focused and so under control like uh, uh and uh, like had the power under control that they were able to do the same thing you know without messing up so that was like a really like you know um what can i say like a thing that he was able to do because he trusted in amida maru yeah and he defeated Ren by that uh, by that way. So yeah, and then by in the end, uh, a, a girl came in. I think her name was Anna. Yeah, uh, she like she said that she was the fiance of Yo. So I'm quite curious as to you know the backstory that they have, like what it actually is. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started with this episode. This is episode number three of Shaman King. All right, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown: three, two, one, go. Her voice is extremely familiar. I'll check her voice actor out after I end oh 13 years channeling what um <laughs> What the? Whoa! <laughs> okay, I can understand how, like, what her personality is. <laughs> She is pretty straightforward, you know, which is really, what can I say, different than we, what we are usually get, you know, usually the main female lead is not like this. Like she just came and said that, yeah, I'll be his wife. So like, you know, <laughs> it's extremely like rare. I've never seen an anime character like, this, or yeah, not, not like this. Like, you know, who just like came and blatantly said that, like, you know, I'll be his wife. So like you obey my orders. <laughs> okay. Usually, you know, the female lead, even if like the childhood friends or something like that, they kind of like not like do something like this. I'm not complaining. This is quite. You know, like a fresh air. This is quite different from what we are usually accustomed to. Okay. <laughs> He's bringing in her juice. Oh, what is he doing here? Wow. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> and I know why the Amulet King of. Oh. What the heck? <laughs> he took him hostage. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh, the spirits. Hmm, yeah. Man can have forgotten. Time of gathering. Great spirit, it's time to... Wait, what? The... Oh! First lady of the shaman world. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so they're going to be in a tournament. Oh my god. <laughs> well, training. Yeah, special training. Yeah. I was saying this, I'm going to talk about this later on. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, she might transfer you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was saying she's going to transfer in. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. What the? The singer. They're watching a martial arts movie? Whoa. Okay. Oh. We're just Marshall. Oh. What? Oh. Oh, maybe he's a spirit. Maybe he's a spirit, you know, maybe. Just like Amida Maru. Oh, someone sent. What the? Daoji. Oh, his brother. Oh my god, not again.
God damn, not again. There you go. I, I said it. Oh, that's a corpse. Reunite a ghost with the corpse. Oh, so they don't fuse with each other. Damn, he's speaking up a, a pipe again. Like... Punish. Oh, damn. Okay. Oh God. What the? What is this like? Summoning jutsu? Oh, she's using her blood uh, for the talismans. Oh god. Continent first. What's with the names? Yeah, and. Like it's a corpse, so you it won't get tired or anything. Yeah. Personal goes to dawn. Oh God. What the? Oh my god. The hell is she even saying? Like, you killed him for the... Dormant feelings. Mm. Oh yeah, that it won't work if Oh God. Okay, yeah, she wants him to do it. Yeah, like... Um... The hell? Yeah, he must have must be going to find the yeah, sword like weapon. Oh, 
Oh, and hello there. Oh, it's here. Oh no. Um. Oh god. I'm not yogurt, what the hell? It's money. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, there you go. There's your answer. You know, what does friendship help? There it is. <laughs> okay, now he'll have his power back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and bam. And the talisman is gone, I'm guessing. Yep, there you go. The talisman is off. Okay. Damn. Mm. Oh God. Um, I don't think that will work again. Oh god. Yeah, like thinking about it like just for a messed up reason like that, like they kill him. Oh god. What else do you expect? Like what? Damn, the Shinai broke. Uh, Bokto broke, not Shinai. Mm. Um, oh god, yeah. Uh. Oh my. Yeah, like... Oh my <laughs> Wow, this...
Okay. Teacher. He's, is he alive? Shaman. But you, you can can you find? Oh yeah, he can do it. Um, Anna can do it. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And <laughs> All right, let's see. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, he was old at that time, so... No, I don't think so. Yeah, exactly. Yep. But I think he can do it. He's an old man. Anime old men are pretty strong. <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> oh! Oh! Mm. Yeah. Okay. Double barrel shotgun, wow. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. Okay.
<clears throat> okay. Oh. Oh, so he's going to go back willingly. Um, okay. Is that the end? Yeah, okay, no, no ending song. All right. Um, okay, so... All right, so this episode, this was episode number three. Uh, we met another uh, uh, two characters, Pyron and uh, what? what's her name? Tao Ji. Um, just a sec, let me just check, double check her name again. Um, wait a minute, uh, where, where is her name? Okay, um, Tao Jun, okay, Tao Jun, Tao Jun, okay, Tao Jun and, Jun and Pyron um okay so yeah these two are the new characters that we met this episode and <coughs> now um so so there's like two things like this lady here tao jun she did a little bit different thing and uh, she's not uh, fusing her soul with tao jun but she is using a vessel to contain tao jun's soul so that that vessel uh, can fight for her so she herself is not engaging in any battle which is a little bit different from how usually the other shamans do stuff for example his her brother as well ren like she like he also like fused with the soul so i'm guessing this is another application of the whole shaman thing because as far as i can remember um anna also said that she is a shaman so that means she is a shaman but the way she uses her power is a bit different from the others uh, she herself does not engage in any battle but she uses uh, you know that corpse uh, to battle now everything's all well and good in this episode one thing that i really am you know unable to accept properly is the fact that not tech not, not technically she but her family killed this guy killed pyron just so that they can have a puppet for their use which is an extremely messed up reason now if they fought and he died something like that or you know some other reason uh, like there was some other reason why he died and uh, like this lady uh, yao oh god i can't remember her name i'm sorry like it's, it's a bit difficult to remember her name where where is her name? Just a sec. Tao Jun. Okay, Tao Jun. Tao Jun. I need to remember that. Tao Jun. Yeah, this lady, Tao Jun. If if it was like he died and Tao Jun, like you know, like collected the body and did the, her thing and controlled the cops, it would have been like still okay in a way, you know. But the thing that really like you know is making me uncomfortable is the fact that her family killed this guy just for the sole purpose of using his corpse as a vessel to contain his soul and fight for them that's pretty messed up in my opinion like not pretty but that's extremely messed up i don't know like <laughs> this is really like weird in a way like i <laughs> and the, the, another thing that really bothers me is how tau like how pyron like you know like was all like okay like i'll like do this from now on like i'll be her like guardian spirit or whatever he called it and like you know like further the uh, martial art technique now I can kind of understand like he's dead so obviously he cannot come back to life so the best thing to do here is like you know like as the thing that he did that is kind of ex like the most productive thing that he could have done and he did that 
he forgot his like you know past said that okay like what's done has been done i'm now in this form so i should probably like you know uh, do this my own way that's the most productive way but you know like it's really weird as to how he didn't even bat an eyelid and went along with her when the cause of his death was their family and at the same time the reason why he died was the simple uh, fact that they wanted a vessel for a soul i don't know this is pretty messed up in a way and like uh, very nonchalant of uh, pyron to just like oh I, I i'm dead because of that so okay like i'll continue to do this um yeah th this was a bit weird especially in the end but otherwise the episode was quite uh like you know like nice when like you know i was really ex like um like i i really like liked the part when uh anna brought those souls from the uh like you know where brought the soul of the master of pyron and like you know as like yo kind of like took that you know form of like an old man with a cane <laughs> and when like they were fighting and he was like dodging it so easily and like you know how old men are in anime they're the strongest like you know like all the old men in an anime like as far as i can remember in dragon ball z in bleach in um hunter hunter all the old men every each and every old man are like the strongest so <laughs> like you know and, and a buff as well you know like this this guy was not buff but usually they're like so muscular and everything <laughs> with like huge like beard and everything <laughs> okay like that was really impressive like i really like that part when like you know like uh, anna brought that uh soul from the other place and uh he possessed uh yo's body and so so i'm guessing like anna can uh, bring back any soul uh, which has died that means you know so like you know if there was like uh, this is pretty what can i say convenient in a way because like if anna is with yo uh, whenever something like this happens like some kind of a disadvantageous uh, thing happens um, according to the enemy Anna can call like souls, you know. Anna can call souls, and they will help, uh, like Yo, to fight the enemy. So this is more like like Anna is like a support character, you know, uh, a supporting um, yeah, a supporting character who can support Yo in a very <clears throat> like good way, which will really help him to <clears throat> win the battles. And uh, another thing that I really liked is. Anna herself like she is a pretty unique has a pretty unique type of a character like <clears throat> i was extremely impressed when she went to um you know uh, the lady the green haired lady i again forgot his her name i'm sorry about that <laughs> when uh, she went to her and slapped her across the face and said that like you brought this upon the whole thing like you have to do something and like uh, you don't have to worry uh like you know me and yo are is here like <clears throat> like you know everything will be all right so <laughs> that was something you know like you know what really impresses me anna treats each and every character the same you like a, a few, few people might say that oh he is like she is kind of violent you know like i've seen a lot of people like kind of um, like in different animals i'm talking about whenever the main uh, like you know female lead kind of beats up the uh, character like main male lead or something you know uh, beats him up or slaps him or something uh, like you know to hide his or her embarrassment and all like they get they get mad Like they said, ah, like they're beating him up. I, I know, like it's like the whole, like this is like I think this is called the slapstick comedy or something. I'm not sure what the actual term is, but it's, it's something like that. Like you know, uh, the whole thing, like it's pretty, pretty like, um, like common in anime where like the uh, female lead kind of like you know beats up the main character just for f like giggles and funs. Like it's it's not something serious, you know. 
but a lot of people do not understand that and they kind of like complain about it uh, i'm completely fine with that you know because it's something that uh, the main like the anime do to add comedic effect to the anime now people might like say that oh like beating up the male uh, you know male character by a female character beating up the male character that's comedic uh, like what what is that like people might say that but like i don't want to get into that whole like mess so in my opinion that's completely fine if it's something the author want to do he can do whatever the hell he wants with his or like own work uh, and own anime so yeah anyways like i'm going to a completely different thing uh what i was trying to say is like we usually see the main like you know female lead kind of beat up only the main character the main male lead but anna treats each and everyone the same like when she beat like you know slapped uh <clears throat> not slap like she hit like yo and in, uh, in the beginning of this episode he also like slapped <laughs> manta and later on he also slapped uh, this lady so that's just her that's just how she like is so i'm this is quite unique i've never seen a character who treats each and every character like the same violently it's usually only exclusive to the male character only the male character gets beaten up but this like you know this lady anna like this girl she like, she doesn't care she, she like uh there's this like someone who needs to discipline i'll slap her uh, slap her or him across the face and <laughs> that's that's really unique and she like she seems like a no-nonsense type of a character you know like uh like no what can i say pondering upon stuff no like uh you know kind of what can i say like thinking too much about something like she's straight to the point does everything straight to the point and yeah that's that's pretty good and uh, what else mm. oh and we also met uh, ryu that guy who like manta got the uh, bokto from uh, the wooden sword from now we did not see how he was able to convince him i'm guessing he was somehow able to convince him you know after he gave that <laughs> that uh, book slam on his head you know slammed the book on his head and like <laughs> what did he say like my hammer of knowledge or something <laughs> man the special like technique and um i'm guessing like after that he like gave up the sword to him the wooden sword and uh so i like you know like i'm guessing like he was able to convince him somehow after that uh so yeah and uh yeah that was this episode and i can see that like anna will be a big uh you know a big help to everything and she'll be able to like support you in a lot of ways and uh, yeah this is like one of the most uh, clear cut type of a relationship that i've seen in especially a shown in anime like uh, this is shown in anime isn't it yeah uh, like usually like there's this whole like in shown in anime there's this whole thing of like the male like you know the main male character and the female character the fa main female character they usually do not like you know like do not have this kind of a thing where even if they like each other they do not say anything for example um uh the whole thing with bleach as well like you know orihime and ichigo that and also like in naruto where like naruto like liked sakura and everything but like you know like sakura did not care and all and uh later on obviously like naruto got mad to hinata but that's completely different but i'm saying like the you know uh the two main uh like male male and the female characters even if they like you know kind of like are attracted to each other they usually do not say anything and like it's like usually uh, keeps going like that until the end until the end of the manga uh, sometimes even in the end nothing happens and but sometimes like it something actually does happen it uh, does actually progress the whole relationship like now to got married to hinata and um like in like in fairy tale nothing happened you know like all of these things but this this is the first time I think I'm seeing a shonen anime, like, you know, uh, where the male male character and the male female character are already engaged. Like, they're like the fiancé of, like, you know. And 
like the main male uh, female character is like blatantly saying that yeah i'm like you know i'm his wife clear cut no no like you know no drama nothing just like that and in the third episode so <laughs> another unique thing that like this anime brought um not brought obviously like this anime uh, uh, like it's, it's like a uh, reboot i think isn't it remake of this show so this is like quite old but yeah like obviously i have not watched the original shaman king this is the first time i'm watching shaman king so i'm quite like liking this whole thing so yeah that was this episode the as i said before the only thing that really bothers me in this episode is the whole thing with uh the lady the green haired lady like her kind of saying that ah oh, like he is uh, my puppet uh, my family killed him just so that he can become my puppet and after like pyron gets to know that even after gets getting to know that and him readily going alongside her and saying that i'll help you that is one thing that really like is bothering me i don't know why i, I think because like if it as i said like if it was something like he died and like this lady picked him up you know and used his corpse uh, as an experiment and like uh, made a puppet out of him it would have been still fine but like what actually happened is he they like killed him just so that he can become her puppet that is the one thing that is really bothering me i don't know like is it just me or like i think this is like extremely uh, like weird uh, and extremely dark in a way so yeah i don't know like uh, like i'm uh, like interested in knowing you guys opinion like if you have anything to say definitely comment down below so yeah guys that's it that was this episode this was this third episode of shaman king so like uh if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share i'll definitely be checking them out and also like comment if you like uh, i really want to know if like the whole thing with the pyron how they killed it and like how pyron willingly went with her uh is it just me or is like other people also bothered by this thing uh i don't know like i i feel really bothered by it uh so yeah i'm quite curious as to what other people thought about this so yeah so yeah uh, if you guys uh oh i already said that so thank you guys for watching again and i'll see you guys in the next week with another episode of shaman king so until then goodbye and have a nice day